Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on December 12th, 2022. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update as well, earthquakes, volcanoes, and a look at world weather. Looking at here the last 48 hours on our sun, as we had quite an eruption on the backside of the sun, but no major solar flares or CMEs thwarted our way. Still observing six to seven sunspots in an earth-facing position. Looking at the last 48 hours incoming, cresting limb, small little flare there shooting out. And as well, a coronal hole building on the left-hand side. And some, looks like there's another bright region turning in. Late images there. Looking at the last few images outgoing. Plasma filament stretched across both the northern and southern hemisphere poles right now. And still a large plasma filament vertically across our sun. Earth-facing position, noting out all the regions here most active. And as well, most recent little CME there. Not in an earth-facing position though. Also, we do have a coronal hole building in the southern hemisphere. Multi-spectrum really shows so much. Amazing images here brought to you by Solar Dynamics Observatory mixed with daily events worldwide. Having a look here, 171 angstroms. High magnetic influences across the northern hemisphere right now. Let's hope these plasma filaments stay intact or at least fall back into the sun especially that long, vertical, earth-facing one. Look here at the solar x-ray flux as it remains in a heightened sea range right now. Three solar flares, C-class, overnight. Geomagnetic activity remains slightly elevated, 1.5. A real-time solar wind streamlined here at about 468 kilometers per second. And that will go down a bit before tomorrow's arriving event. Density bunches at 6. Now let's have a look at ISWA space prediction spiral showing that large CME I was talking about in the beginning of the video. Taking off on the back side of the sun towards the BEPI satellite. Just missing Venus. That was huge, monstrous eruption. Look at LASCO 2 to see if we can see... That eruption, won't be able to see much of it, but showing here the last two days of imagery. As we had a couple pops there in the last few days. Expecting a coronal hole wind stream and as well some space weather from the most recent events into tomorrow. Schumann resonance for today is a power of 11. Pretty energetic throughout the day today. Quality of 6.3, amplitude of 11, power in 10. Now let's have a look at earthquakes across the world as we're still pretty low numbers right now. 180 earthquakes across the USGS map. And the largest earthquake here was a 5.5 Central America. South of Panama, 5.5 earthquake, 10 kilometer depth. This was a forecasted region, but I'm expecting something larger to come. But quite a bit of activity resonating here. Puerto Rico. About 20 earthquakes there. If not 30. Largest being a 3.8. Peru. Mesemare. 4.6. Quiet through the Scotia Plate. Quiet through the North American Plate. It's gone quiet in Hawaii. Seeing increasing activity here. Halibut Cove, Alaska, 4.5, as well as 4.1 here. Adrianoff Islands, Alaska. Izu Islands, Japan region, seeing a 4.9 earthquake today, as well as 4.6 there. Kuril Islands, second largest earthquake today. Amahai, Indonesia, 5.3, 61 kilometer depth, as well as Papua New Guinea seeing some activity. Through the Cadavor area, volcano, 
and then three very deep earthquakes today 523 kilometer depth 576 kilometer depth and as well 572 kilometer depth so three very deep earthquakes here fiji region heads up most times we can expect a larger shallow earthquake to follow this time i think we'll be seeing it pretty quick if not overnight tonight 4.3 bamboo flats india as well as 4.7 magaraski russia and pakistan reaching 214 kilometer depth 4.3 and 14.1 iran quiet through europe and gone quiet in africa have a quick look here at the last seven days for earthquakes largest being the 6.1 earthquake that rocked mexico the last seven days lots of activity into indonesia philippines plate and up into the volcano islands south of japan rare earthquake there southern australia and as well increasing activity through the atlantic and south sandwich islands nazca plate is a popping right now expecting something bigger here central regions of america or even up into the pacific northwest north america having a look here pacific disaster center showing the most recent satellite imagery from around the world huge system in the atlantic getting ready to make it landfall and bring in lots of moisture for europe got reventador in ecuador as well nevada's de ruiz in colombia sangay in ecuador fuego guatemala many flood alerts across this app right now 178 active hazards sabancaya in peru this is all in the last four hours popo in mexico semeru indonesia So that's about seven volcanoes getting updated today and two awakened yesterday. So we're sitting at about 52 or 53 volcanoes. Stay tuned for the volcanic activity report. Tomorrow will be coming for week 50. Having a look here overlooking the Atlantic provinces as we have uh, wind warnings as well, snowstorm warnings and heavy rainfall in some areas as well. Big low pressure system, almost tropical heading into your region right now the thing's got an eye it's huge and i've been forecasting this all week also got a big one moving in on the west coast already bringing winter storm conditions through sierra nevada overlooking the pacific gonna have a huge low developing there heading up into alaska and then eventually north america flooding across northern parts of australia lingering system around and as well tropical depression pakar Looks like it will be fizzling out before it hits Japan. And then all those red icons, those are all flood alerts. As there are many, especially along the equatorial regions, increasing moisture, probably thanks to the 52 or 53 volcanoes that are active and erupting across the world. Having a look here, windy.com showing wind forecast for the next 24 hours overlooking the Atlantic provinces as that low pressure system makes landfall and then joins forces with another here so we're gonna have two huge systems in both the atlantic and pacific over the coming days watch for this big low in the north atlantic join forces with another and then overlooking the pacific look at this beast of a system it's probably about four or five low pressures all wrapped up into one but this is in the long range forecast here by the 19th into the 20th is when it really starts to organize itself that is a massive system watch for strong winds and as well some heavy snow all throughout alaska by that point so definitely a white christmas through alaska and most of canada for that matter as we have some wintry systems developing and moving through now watch for a system here to race through central United States. Going to bring some really extreme weather through the Gulf states and central up into the northeast. 
but through Ontario, we're going to be seeing rain. And then on the back side of this system, it's going to be a lot of snow, possibly 30 centimeters of snow in some areas. And as well, we've got a big system here heading through Alaska and then popping into Alberta and joining forces with some very cold air. So watch for snowy and extreme cold conditions through Alberta and then lots of snow continuing eastward through Canada. Overlooking the Pacific, Australia, and as well as Southeast Asia, India. We've got one tropical system kind of lingering around heading towards Yemen, and we've got twin cyclones here developing in the long-range forecast, one heading towards southern India and the other one through South Indian Ocean. Overlooking the rest of the world, big low pressure systems off of the coast of Europe. Going to start bringing in a lot of moisture and as well cold temperatures moving in from the east. So expect some snowfall. People are already seeing some pretty early snowfalls through there. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please don't forget to smack that like button. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily due. Bye-bye now. Much love prayers for our humanity. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.